Let me try to be straightforward. I don't have a master plan from one movie to the next or for my overall oeuvre. I just do whatever I'm interested in. And when I'm interested in a story for a longer period of time, I want to turn it into um, a movie. The script for The Ground Beneath My Feet is actually older than um, when we were cool. I started it right after The Fatherless. It went through many phases. It was interrupted. And the time had not come for me for this movie. It doesn't necessarily have an autobiographical background, but a personal origin, a relative with a psychological disorder is in my family. I also have a consultant in my family. And from these two topics that I was interested in and how this developed into one story is something that I cannot really pin down. I haven't done anything differently than I did with all of my other movies. They're very much based on intuition and on what drives me, what's interesting to me, and this issue of looking for things, the search and the loss of control is always something that I'm interested in. You need to be able to answer things during the financing phase when you try to convince others of the project and there are a lot of arguments speaking in favor of the story, in favor of the movie, but what really drove me is something that I recognized in a very late editing phase. We had the first screenings and they were terrible. The first feedback was very emotional and not necessarily positive throughout. I didn't expect this. I'd never experienced this before. My prior movies um, always had very nice screenings where everybody said, yeah, this is nice, you can maybe um, twist and change a little bit here, but I never had this um, reception and I immediately felt like I'd failed and I don't know what I'm doing and I, um, I'm nothing but an imposter and now everybody will notice that I'm not really a director. And on that weekend, I wrote into a diary for the first time in a long time and I noticed that it's about me. It's about me. It's about something that many of us have, namely this fear of not being enough, not giving enough, of never doing things right. And at the end of the day, I think this was my drive, my inner drive. It's not two worlds. You don't perform or you don't perform. You're not sick or healthy. It's always a dance on a very thin red line, very dramatically the way I express this. But yeah. A dance on the thin red line. I'll probably read that somewhere as a quote. It's right. You always have to perform. You always have to be on spot. And sometimes that can be frustrating in this job when you notice that you only have output, no more input. All you do is function. I'm very familiar with this. That's why I just drifted away a little bit because I was thinking about this. I hope I won't end up depressed because of this. But it's true, yes. But it's also a great job. We get a lot of... Uh, we get a lot out of it as well, and selling oneself, selling out, as you said, well, yes, it's true as well, but compared to the business consultant, I think we as actors and actresses can also work in an artistic way, and that's the nice input that I like. For me, the most important thing about this character, about this movie, was definitely this idea of somebody wanting to perform, wanting to function, so that all of the weaknesses, dysfunctionalities of life, things that people have, is so much pushed out of one's own life that you no longer see it and that you no longer try to integrate this into your life. And this applies to Lola so much. It would have been so nice. I was always wishing for her to just let go and say, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I can't perform anymore. If she could only accept this weakness, and that would be the beginning for a possible improvement. And I think it's extremely important in one's personal lives, but also in society as a whole diese Art von menschlicher Schwäche und Dysfunktionalität, human weaknesses and dysfunctionalities and 
weil da kommen wir nicht weiter. Not push them into the background, not push them away. It's always going to catch up with us. The, 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 the writing is always the more difficult process for me and um, it's, it's, I think it's the writers who are really the important people for, for films and actually not the directors so much because um, writing a good, good script is really difficult and hard work and it took a long time to write the script but what always happens when I'm done, I forget all that. I, I know I know about the research and I have all these notebooks, um, but I don't really remember how I came up with a structure or with uh, with the plot. I, I never remember. I don't know why. It's maybe like when women give birth and they forget how the pain. I don't know. Um, it's just it's <laughs> gone. I'm sorry. <laughs>